Mm-hmm. Like, he was a real one for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's happening, Devin? Back I'm in with it. What's sound, man? Oh, man. We left off some stuff last interview, bro. We got to... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's real, man. I'm still, you know, I was sleeping last interview, you hear me? I'm kind of... Uh-huh. Man, uh, one of the things we, we left, out, uh, left out was... It was a situation that went down with you, Fox, and Red or something like that, huh? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it got real, man. But uh, it wasn't even no, no real, man. You know, so it started off like this. I don't know what I did to Fox. Mm -hmm. I was like 19, bro. I don't know what I did to him or what he did. But it might, I don't, I forgot what it was over. But one of his artists, Call my homeboy and say, man, Fox threw a shot at Delwyn in a song, man. <laughs> it was uh, in the club, missing back on that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know what I'm saying? So he called, uh, they called, I can't say the artist's name, but uh, they called and I went straight, you know, you know, straight to it. Yeah. I made a beat song, you know what I'm saying? But me and Fox eventually talked. It was crazy. I put the beat song out. <laughs> he ain't know about it. And we talked on the phone. Mm -hmm. And he was like, nah, my nigga, they ain't, they ain't you know, they ain't about you. But said the boo, if you ever seen the viral video of said the boo, you know what I'm saying? We was young. Whatever we heard, you know what I'm saying? We ran with that shit. So you ever see the viral, the video that really turned Say the boo to a star. We had no shirt on, all that platinum, yeah, something like that. Yeah, platinum on uh, the Nuggets video. So mm -hmm. icy. He was like, wipe it down, Fox. They don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that come from that that was going on. So me and Fox talking on the phone on the strength of Big J. You know what I'm saying? Big J set the, you know, meeting up. So, mm -hmm. man, we talked. Fox called back like a day later. Man, he made a song about me. You know, man, you know, nigga say you, you was throwing shots. And nigga hung on the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, man, that, uh, so we was, you know, so Nussie, hold up. Yeah, before all that, you know what I'm saying? We was here. You know what, what I'm saying? What about Fox making yeah, songs like that? Yeah, well, I think Nussie had took a picture with Fox and posted it or something in the club, and Fox ain't like this. Mm hmm. So, Why? Because the situation was going on with. Yeah, all that other you know what yeah. I'm saying? Why this shit? But, uh, so, this was like, man, that. We about to, uh, <laughs> we gonna take advantage of this shit. So he was about to, you know, like back in the, back in the gap days, they had the bootleggers. So, he was about to get a CD cover made with me and him on it. And we was gonna say verses. Our picture gonna be me and this a picture. And we was gonna have the verses. We was gonna have Boosie <laughs> and Fox on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when he say, man, when Turk and Turk Mill, you know, call to get the trip, he was like, man, I don't know who did that. He was going to say, I don't know who did that. You know, we don't, we don't know. When, yeah. they, when they hollering, that was like, you know, cover. You know what I'm saying? Because we was working on, me and this was working on a CD called Fully Loaded. It took pictures, had the songs and everything ready. But, uh, but we was going to put that out first, just to get the streets talking, you feel me? Yeah. We were going to put, you know, our songs on there. Versus, you know, some trill song we gonna get to. He was gonna get to the bootleggers, and like a versus battle, like yeah. Oh, you know, we been on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah, and this is things with that one. That's on, you know. But back to it, man. So, you know, we ain't see each other. So, oh, uh, that song. This is that was after this had died. So that song, y'all bad not fighting this. Bitch, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You listen to so Fox verse, acting like you macho, put that father on you, make a beat of macho taco. You know what I'm saying? Me and Boo had came out that song Macho Man. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So we got to confirm from a nigga in trio. You know what I'm saying? Nigga like, yeah, he threw that shot at y'all. You, you know, you said the boo. So having Fox had to having to see Seda Boo and Plagman at a party. You know what I'm saying? He walked up to Seda Boo. Mm -hmm. He ain't come like disrespectful from what I was hearing. I was still pissed off, but you know he had came because I was like, man, I had I been seeing Fox. I was seeing him at like we was having concerts together, you know. 
you know, nigga wasn't doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. um, but he seen Seti Boo. Seti Boo was by himself, so it was him and a couple. You know, it was a lot of more people. From what I know, they was t- I was told. But he ain't come at him up. You know what I'm saying? He came at him like a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like man, what's up? You know? And he said the boots told him like, I was just riding behind my dog Devil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And niggas doubt each other down. That was the end of that. You know? So it was like no real problem. It was no problem, man. You know the streets. I don't. I don't recall. I don't remember what the f- started it. Might have been a. B- I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know. You know, eighty percent of niggas beef. <laughs> Oh well, girl. Yeah, old f-ing girl, I don't be no f-ing dope, none of that. You know, I'll be old f-ing woman. Mm-hmm. So I was young at the time, so no telling. But he was, you know, he was older than me. Then my brother, my brother found out about it. He was like, you know, y'all, you know, chill out with this because you know, his brother. Um, I've been knowing Fox brother since I was a little boy. You know, mm-hmm. and Jedi, yeah, I was young. I was young because we played football with my brother. So I already knew all them dudes, you know what I'm saying? A couple of cats from, you know, on their side was kind of mad because they was trill and T, like a lot of people from Glen Oak, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a couple of niggas that knew my brother that was over there. You know, they was like, man, why you on that side? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> hey, look, let's go to this. Uh, Nissy used to always roll around with Big Marquis. Oh, yeah, yeah. What their relationship was like? Let's get a little deeper, you know, with Big Monkey. We ain't got to get too deep with it, but... Yeah, it was close, man. You know, like I say, this old Big Monkey was calling. He used to call from jail. Mm-hmm. He used to call my phone. You know what I'm saying? He was sending pictures with, uh... He was sending pictures with him home and his homies, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was, uh... Before he got killed, man, that nigga, that nigga was like... That nigga like Incredible Hulk. Mm-hmm. See, people ain't really get to see him like that... When he, when he got out, but that boy, that boy got in shape, you hear me? Mm-hmm. And Big Marquis was uh, calling me when this had died. He was like, man, I'm getting on that mobbing. But I ain't wanna really want to fuck with it. But, you know, he was like, man, I'm getting on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it or not, nigga, I'm getting yeah. on that song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when he came home, you hear me? When he was about, but he wasn't home yet. But he was like, yeah, I'm getting on that. But I know he, he was going to be on that dumb. You know, I was like, man, hold up, now, hold up. And, you know, that song he was on the shows, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't want, you know, he ain't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, everybody know he was a bullet. So what, what happened? I remember he was trying to, like, sink his feet in the rap game. At one oh, point. he was the sickest. Yeah. Oh, with that two, yeah, all that two-piece. Yeah, yeah he had a two-piece, then he had a couple more. Tell, yeah, yeah, he was, he was signing the shop shuttles at one time. Then, you know, DC, he was dope, he was dope celebrity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a trolley. You know, he got a lot of, um... He was spitting, everybody knew, the, you know, everything he said was, was, he stood on that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, you know, shit, you know, Big Marquis, everybody know him in the streets. He was like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, his other partner, uh, Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> big dog. Oh, he's a real big dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what their relationship was like? Oh, they were close, man. They were real close, man. F- Diablo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that Diablo... A real, you know, that nigga really one of the sickest niggas in the rap too. Mm-hmm. Like Diablo. <laughs> yeah, I remember. He had, he had, we got a song. We got a couple songs. Oh, yeah. Couple Diablo of used to take forever to write. <laughs> but that nigga, when he finished his verse. Yeah. The sickest. You got to get him on that shake down. Lay your face down. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. That nigga says, mm-hmm. that nigga come with it. <laughs> when Diablo voice. When you hear his voice on the track, you know, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, everybody know he's not lying. Whatever the f*** he say, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So when this started with the dose level, what they were just trying to get up out the streets with it, though. Yeah. 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 It was really a deal, man. We had a deal. Bro. Uh-huh. We had a deal with Universal, man. Like, what, what, what were some of his plans he had to go with it? Okay, well, like I said, me him and Diablo was on... Um, we really talked every day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So the plans was, uh, first of all, they was about to, we was gonna, we was gonna upgrade our image, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They was gonna get two Bentleys, and I was gonna drive the Benz. But them two was gonna have the Bentleys, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Big Fancy came home, you know what I'm saying? So he was in too, you know? Michael Charles. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, because I always seen like Gates always like he till this day. Gates always shout out Nussie. Like I oh, think yeah, he better man. Uh, ID Let me post. Tell you, bro. Yeah, Gates was around like mm-hmm. every day. Like the Gates was like this. Look, one day like people be talking about Gates and this and that. The high years, man. Gates been like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, nigga. Been with. Was well, saying the crazy stuff. Man, 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 man. <laughs> I think he'd be bull most man, of the time though. Man. Cause I'm uh, man. Like say for instance, you might be somewhere at the building. Mm-hmm. Jason passed right by you and don't talk to nobody. Yeah. Just whatever move he in. Next day, he man, what's up, my nigga? Man, grab your hug, you rub, uh, all that. You mm-hmm. don't know what mood he was in. <laughs> yeah. But uh. Yeah, Gates, um, yeah, you don't know what mood Gates was in, man, he, you know, but he was a good rapper, I'll tell you that. Man, Gates, I he think. He got a whole CD with missing, man, he got a lot of this. Like, man, I'm telling you. What, they ain't never come out? They're cracking the making, you know. Man, them niggas got a lot of songs. Uh-huh. Him and Gates? Yeah. But, you know, Dead Gang got them. So, I don't know the situation, but, you know, Dead Gang owned all that. Mm. But, yeah, but Gates was around, like, you know, around, like, you know, like real, like he do the show like one time, like J Real. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know that was you know he one of Gates' big dogs right now. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, he was on J Real, Gates. But Gates ain't like to perform at first though. Like it's mm-hmm. crazy how he good with it now, but that nigga ain't like to perform. Cause I seen when he got out, he like he was most rehearsed most of the time. Yeah, that nigga ain't like that. But this was like man, why the hell we, they was on stage one night. <laughs> Performing, this was, you know, I was about 17 at the time, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I say, I came up under all them, you know what I'm saying? So I was young, but I might have been about 17. And Gates, like, they, the crowd, and like, man, that man gonna turn around on you. And, <laughs> and this was like, man, why Gates don't like to perform? J. Red, like, man, man, bipolar, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? He don't like that shit. Mm-hmm. J. Red, like, what's that? J. Red, knock your ass off, you know, he. He been solid with Gates for a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a long time. Mm-hmm. They like to tell you, Jay Rev. Jay Rev was on that mob in that first, well, you know. But uh, I f with Jay Rev, man. It's a real nigga. Mm-hmm. But he BWA, you know, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jay Rev, man. He was a real street nigga, you know? Yeah. Hey, another person that was signed with DCF, uh, Lil J. What Lil J been, man? We ain't hell at seen him. You know, he had, he had women. Missing for he had us worried, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, he go uh, yeah he went missing for a couple of weeks, but uh, he's straight now, man. You know he shaking back. Yeah, he had a good rapper mode too. Man. Yeah, man, they had the jigger juice and all that back. Nah, that was the job. That was the job. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> they sounded like they, they sounded, did. Yeah, they had a group together though. Yeah, I remember they used to roll yeah. around together. Somebody yeah, they used to have a group together. They had a group together, but uh, the J, bro, I'm gonna tell you. Um, yeah, he was yeah, he was solid, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like I said that was DCL, me, me, him, puppy. Yeah, puppy another one. Been uh missing that. Yeah, puppy wild, man. That's a wild uh-huh. man. Yeah, last time I seen him, he was on the ground with a big ass snake. Yeah, that's what he do. He's yeah. a wild man. <laughs> I seen that. <laughs> that nigga been wild. If you know puppy, that nigga been wild. Uh-huh. Like not them before the rap shit. Everybody know that nigga's wild. That nigga don't, that nigga wild. I'm talking about like just wild, like he don't give a You know what I'm saying? Man, to put a flick out one day. Yeah. <laughs> he, don't, he don't know what to expect from him. <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 like, man, this nigga crazy, man. Uh-huh. Crazy, bro. So, uh, with this old music and all that, man, like, what happened? You got some old music from back in the gap? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, a lot of come out, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't really wear like the moves. Like you look on YouTube, you got some moves. Yeah, oh yeah. That was gonna be a dick thing. Yeah, like they got one raw movie with a, a popular actor, man. I forgot his name. Mm-hmm. It's called Jesse James or something. The book of just something, but that bitch raw. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? That bitch sick. Y'all go see that on YouTube or check that bitch out. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But yeah, that bitch retarded. And and then, man, uh, I'm trying to put together a little documentary with them, man. Man, we with that, bro. Uh-huh. You see, like, that's the thing about everybody who goes to that, bro. bro. We, we, you know, this shit, like, everybody else talking about them. Yeah. 
You gotta come talk to the, you know, to the talk actual, to the people. Ask your mm -hmm. mother to get that real deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's up now. We about to put together though. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Shout out to How Bar Major. Just seen a bit, uh, interview with him. You know, mm -hmm. shout, he been holding his shit down. He been putting them little stories out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to How Bar. You know, you know what I'm saying? Don't when when his stories not cap, but you know all these other niggas putting these cap stories out, man. You know. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the whole the whole you know Baton Rouge for keeping my nigga name alive, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, my nigga, you know, his name still fresh. It says like ten years ago, you know, something like you know, my nigga still. You go in the club, you gonna hear that nissan. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gonna hear that boom my ear. Yeah. Hey, something else I uh, want to ask you. Nissan had a little thing about he don't make what that was, Muja Cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, you know about that situation? Let's talk about that for me. Nah, that was a little before my time. Okay. But uh, Nissan, but Muja Cat wasn't no. You know what yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, they had a situation which you know, mm -hmm. with the cats against, you know what I'm saying. But um, well, how Nissy felt about rats? I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you something now, man. Nissy was the creator of exposing rats. Mm -hmm. I don't give a what a nigga say. He created that shit. all these exposing rats and putting on wax and putting niggas out there. Like yeah. if you rat, you know what I'm saying. He started that shit. niggas getting that from Nissy, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it gangster. I'm gonna tell you some shit, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. That nigga and not, you know, if you was ratting, you couldn't come on, you couldn't come around. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, you know, had no red jacket. You feel me? Mm -hmm. None of that, but it's a it's a cold game, man. It, it ain't no ain't, but ain't no rules in the streets, bro. Yeah. So I be telling niggas, man, nigga be exposing some of these, these niggas some real steppers. You know, mm -hmm. I know a lot of rats that's like that. For real, for real. They mm -hmm. don't give a They'll rat on you and, and come. Not hey, them the most. Them, them I mean, they don't give a. They'll uh -huh. tell on you, get out, come do you something, and get out again. Yeah, because they got a. Well, I ain't gonna say his name. A dude from out of New Orleans. I actually spoke to him about the interview or something. Yeah. And he was like, he was really moving like that. He was at a big old racketeering case out there, and he got out, did something else. Yeah, them niggas like that's crazy, bro. Cause they really steppers, man. The uh -huh. majority, cause they don't give. I tell the niggas not, ain't no rules in these game, in this game, bro. Mm -hmm. No, you know rules. So a nigga come telling them, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you know, the majority of these niggas is rats. Like, how the f you come home? Like, mm -hmm. niggas getting caught with a little bit of weed, going to do, <laughs> but <coughs> man, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, yeah. like you said, ain't no, ain't no rules in the streets. Ain't you gotta no look. Rules in the streets, man. These niggas really be people. Won't come home. They family got kids and all that. They like their free time. But you are, but once you step in this bitch, you know what to come with. But mm -hmm. niggas don't, niggas, niggas just don't give a f Niggas sit here, you know, it, it, it's the same. Nigga, nigga might not say they're a rat, but mm -hmm. I know some niggas, you know what I'm saying, they'll get females to call the police. Yeah. And tell them what to tell the police. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, but, you know, it's it's f***ed up game. You know what I'm saying? Or get somebody else, they'll tell somebody else something. Get somebody else to tell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's how the gang go. That's the majority of these niggas be doing. They'll get a female to go tell. Or go mm -hmm. down to the police station and say some shit. You know what I'm saying? I also seen somebody get their mama to go up there and Exactly. It's a lot of, it's a lot of ways niggas be trying to hide they they, they face behind that shit or they mm -hmm. oh, I ain't no rap, but man, I'm knowing nigga you done sent such and such to the you know, to call, make that call. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Make that call, you know. This is, this is, it ain't got no rules in the game. What you gonna do about it? You, know, you can't go get a job it. and stay the hell out of the way. All niggas do is run to them. That's why I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, this is put that shit on blast, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now, as I got, you know, as I realized, like, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? When a nigga, if a nigga's a rat, he's dangerous. Yeah. Because the people are protecting this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what you gonna do? All you can do is get on the internet and try to expose him. And he's gonna, you know, like, you know, niggas can't really, niggas know better, man. You go on the internet, though. Why, why waste your time? You get on the internet, talk about a rat. These niggas protected like a mother. You know, they, 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 they are being watched 24-7. So if you even try to creep up on a nigga, somebody there. Oh, no, you ain't touching no, uh, you know what I'm saying? Especially no, no federal informant. Yeah, you can't do that. Like, you might touch them, but they ain't going to be good because they know they every step. 
Look at old boy. He's gonna. He he probably man. That nigga probably go through hell. Nigga that beat up six nine. Man, he about to go through some bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just seen him doing MV. He just don't know you about to. I mean, I, you know, I can't get mad at that nigga, man. Nigga, it's just street rules, and mm -hmm. you know what come with that if you rap, you know? Yeah. You know what come with it, but some of these niggas, like, well, this the new, you know? Like, well, well this will say you rap, you die the same day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't, that shit, you can't. They protecting these niggas now, man. It's more technology, and, you know, back in the gallery, you, mm -hmm. you know, you know what I'm saying? They had rats back then, but they ain't had that many as now. I don't know. But, you know, like I say, social media and a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, niggas be ratting on niggas that don't know how to talk English, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All type of shit, you know? But, you know, um, I mean, that's how the game goes, bro. There ain't no rules in this bitch. Ain't so, no you know, rules, once man. you step in this bitch, you know what time it is. You just got to be prepared. You got to you gotta move swiftly, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But um, they got these motherfuckers, bro. You know, like I say, it's a cold world, bro. These niggas really steppers, bro. I be telling niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Something shit. They mm -hmm. gonna get away with it. Yeah, they gonna get away with it. They all gonna get away with this shit. It, it what it is. <laughs> it's real, bro. Like I say, man. And no motherfucking rules in this game. Mm -hmm. You know, like I say, this is this is this is been through that, like, you know, you been putting nigga on game with that, like, shit. The rat's the most dangerous niggas in the world. Mm -hmm. Rat on you, knock your ass off and get away with it. <laughs> Shit on it. Well, right. appreciate you, bro. Man, let's get it, man. All righty.